evening in the Pacific Northwest. I hope everybody's having a wonderful evening and a wonderful time. Uh, we'll be streaming in multiple platforms like always. Check in out the live. The live is good. Let me refresh YouTube, make sure that we are on the air. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Uh, home videos. Doesn't say that YouTube is on the air, but I'm I'm gonna assume that it is. Uh, home. Home is where the heart is. Your channel. YouTube Studios. Do I have a video going live? Does it say? Okay, it's not saying anything. But I'm pretty sure that it is. Uh, oh, that's not what I wanted. Huh. Videos. There it is. says that I'm live on YouTube. All right, boom, we're everywhere. All right, and I'm by myself, all by myself. And I'm watching myself. Two views, all by me. Hope everybody's having a wonderful evening. Like I said, it's a rainy evening here in the great Pacific Northwest. Uh, says that I'm, oh, okay, so it says that I'm live on Twitch as well. So everything is running, everything is running. Everything is beautiful. Oh, Shinobu Raccoon joined at the stream. <laughs> I got this now to play a sound when people join. So I oh, can hear really people coming. Oh, cool. Is that? Oh, that's the same. That's the draw you had last week. I'm still working on it. Because <laughs> I, 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 I talk more than I ink because, you know, I'm trying to, trying to keep the... Right. Conversation going. Trusty says he just got home a few minutes ago. All yeah. good. Trusty, no worries, man. When you can jump in, you can jump in. If not, I understand. I know you do the church thing on Thursdays. I do mine on Wednesdays. So, yeah. No big yeah. That's why uh, D Light makes it so convenient. You can just like, you can just work, let the music play, and check in on the chat regularly. Yeah. But unfortunately, it's I know you're. Yeah, and you're multi-streaming on YouTube, which which has a habit of taking down uh, videos that have copyrighted music. Yeah, so I yeah, that's that's basically the gist of it. But that's but uh, yeah, it's no big deal, you know. And yeah. plus today is Thursday, and you know everybody and their mama streaming on Thursday. You got uh, the drawn and quarter fan edition. You got uh. I think if Rick is doing some kind of Thursday night auction. Yeah, I think so too. And I just left a uh, stream. I just left the Thundercast uh, stream. So yeah, it's it's uh it's busy on a Thursday evening for show. Sure. But like I said, we're trying to do it, trying to keep the show rolling because you never know. You never speaking of which, know. speaking of which, thanks for popping up on my stream earlier. Oh man, no problem, man. If I see you guys on and I'm, you know, and I can jump in, you know, I'm gonna jump in. Marcus Give is in the house saying hello, Ian Chat, Cheeseburger Legend, Marcus Givens. Yeah, no, you know, I, I try I really do want to support everybody as best as I can. You know, so I try. If if I see you guys, I'm definitely gonna try um right. to, to watch you guys and, and try to um, you know try to see what's going on, you know what I mean? And Maranya Volcanen is in the house. Maranya, what was it? What what was the uh, menu what's for tonight? Menu? Yeah, yeah, what's cooking, yeah. Doc? What is cooking, Maranya? We we want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. Right. What's cooking, that's best, Doc? That's the best part of the show. Aragalanian is in the house. Oh man, we got we. Hey, look at that! All the regulars are coming by to check us out. This is amazing. <laughs> So how you been, man? Dude, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be mean. I just couldn't figure out how to read your story. <laughs> it's I'm all like, right. I mean, like, it's okay because I, I, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be mean. I, yeah. 
I was like, okay, do I start from this side? Well, okay, but but then again, you know, in my defense and in yours, I, I never really read a manga book, so I was I was having issues. I was like, wait a minute, what? Yeah, yeah. What had happened was I re- I when I first started working on it, I didn't intend for it to read like a manga, but when Maddie was asking me all these questions, I forgot to format it. I forgot to format the panels. Right, right. Be- because it reads from right to left, so the first panel would be on top, and you and the panels would go from right to left onto the next page. And I forgot, and I didn't take that into account, and I forgot to put that in. But uh, I did go to my LCS today to pick my copy of Firefly up because it <laughs> came out today, and um, and since um. Since I have extra copies, I I gave a copy of the Unbreathable Skunk Girl to uh, to one of the clerks there. So hopefully, you know, we'll find out uh, what the yeah. what the verdict is to see if they liked it, didn't like it, yeah. you know, stuff like that. Um, and we'll see. It's it's interesting. It'll be interesting. Yeah. And then of course I want to give Larry a copy because Larry don't have a copy. Yeah. So. Yeah. Now for the for the next story, I'm going to have to put in an apology disclaimer <laughs> disclaimer going on. Sorry about the confusion for the last book. If you read it, I didn't intend. <laughs> I uh, uh, didn't take that right to left thing into account, and uh, <laughs> it's all good, man. I, you know, I was just like, I just couldn't figure it out. I'm just done. Yeah. Uh, Marcus says, in some streams today, there was supposedly a Google moderator team going around streams that they actually caught a screenshot. Huh? Chicken baked chicken and blue box mac and cheese says Marania. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. interesting. I don't, I don't know about that moderator team. All they're gonna catch is art here. So, you know, it is what it is. Hopefully, we'll have some more people join in. And if not, you know, it's all good. We'll, we'll just keep rocking and rolling like we always yes. do. You know, and I'll keep trying to figure out, finish trying to finish this complicated piece that I chose. I don't know why I chose this piece. It looked cool. But you know, yeah. So I so so hopefully, if the comic book the L, the local comic book shop likes Manny's book, you know, maybe the, when the second time goes around, maybe 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 they'll order some for the shop. Yeah. I mean, you know, I'm just dropping a, I'm just dropping like a little nugget. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, yeah. here's, here's a comic book you all might enjoy. You know. It's got a little bit of manga. I don't don't ask me about the manga part, you know. And it's got a little bit of skunks. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, so, hopefully he, hopefully, uh, Maddie puts that on uh, Wiki Publishing because I think I think that's the one that that uh, I don't. I think that's the one that that the all the uh, Indiegogo stores go on. Uh huh. That'd be cool. Let's see. Marcus says, if you draw, they will come. This is not Field of Dreams, Marcus. This is not Field of Dreams. No. But it's, it's YouTube of Dreams, I guess. I don't know. Shoot. Yep. Yeah. But I found it interesting. You know, I was hoping maybe like, you know, hopefully, I mean, nothing might come out of it. Some, you know, but I just figured, let me drop the book over in the, in the store. Give it to the clerks, you know, since they're comic shop people, and see what happens. See if yeah. uh, if they like it. Next time I go there, because I go there at least once a week, maybe they'll if they ask me about it. I'll be like, oh yeah, you know, this is where the Indiegogo is, and the second book is coming out twenty twenty. Blah yeah. blah blah blah. You know, because we gotta. I, I know that people are, are frowning upon the the local comic book shops, but a lot of people still go. Yes. A lot of people was every single time I go, it's full. You know what I'm saying? Oh, thanks, Iron yeah. Man. Appreciate it. You're awesome as well, man. Yeah, that's why I go. You know, I, I go. Yeah. I go all the time, man. Every time I go to the LCS, it's packed. I like. Yeah, I. I mean, mine is more packed on the weekends because mine I've noticed is more packed during the weekends than during the week. I go there Wednesdays because that's pretty much the only time I get to go. Yeah. But no, I get that. You know, that's a lot. That's the only time a lot of people get to go. But I, I'm lucky enough where I can just like take my lunch break and just roll over to the to the LCS during the middle of the day. You know, 
<laughs> that way I don't have to worry about. Oops, I just dropped my phone. That way I don't have to worry about long lines and whatnot in the evening. You know. Right. Because uh, I, I really don't like. Uh, I really don't like you know sitting there or whatever. But even though if I do go, I'll yeah. go look at the because this shop is like two stories and it's huge. Wow. So if if there's a lot of line, I just go browse around. I have a, wow, a, 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 an LCS that takes up two floors. That's that's it's huge, man. It's got every everything you could imagine in that yeah. doggone store. I told you they even got a little indie section. I mean, it's super small. It's like one sliver of a shelf, <laughs> but they got one. Right. So. That's about the size of my um the manga section over in at my LCS. No, the manga section in here is huge. That thing is like two aisles. <laughs> it's crazy, man. I tell you, man, it, it's 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 huge, man, and the staff is friendly. That's good. Uh, surprisingly, it's mostly women. So. People, are, people who say that that women don't work in comics and don't read comics. Uh, yes, they do. There's a whole bunch of them in that store. And they know my <laughs> box number better than I do. Hey, Matt, see how you doing, buddy? Thanks for joining us, man. We appreciate that. Thank you for letting us a cool stream. We, uh, you're cool people, so we gotta we gotta match the coolness of the chat. That's that's the whole deal, right? Yes. We try to match the coolness of the chat. You can't match the cool. Oh, there it goes. Uh, another sound saying that someone else came in. <laughs> yeah, no, true. Uh, the, I know. I didn't know there was an option, but there's an option in Streamyard, right? Wait. When a guest that, comes oh in, my... it makes a it makes a sound. So now I don't have to worry about looking all the time to see who's coming in. Now I just wait for the sound, and boom, there you are. Yeah. Is that supposed you, to be all might? That's Josh. Josh. Joshua. <laughs> it's it's, it's uh, that stupid Streamyard, dude. Oh, um, is is that what's oh, causing yeah. issues? Every time okay. I get on Streamyard, it changes where my sound comes from. Yeah, I think you said you had that issue last night yep. when we were on uh, when we were on because you were saying I could hear you, but you couldn't hear me. Yep. So as soon as I got on, I saw your all your old little thing go, you know, like talking. I was like, nope, and started changing the audio because <laughs> yeah, it, Streamyard doesn't like it coming from where it should be normally. It, it tries to it actually tries to shove it through one of my microphones. Yeah, and then I have to actually yeah. tell it go through a speaker. Yeah. And come to think of it, I think I recall you saying something about doing a commission on My Hero Academia. Yeah, I'm actually yeah. working on the poster right now. I've been working on it all day. Yeah, because yeah, I can see Deku and uh, the two sides of All Might. <laughs> so, yep, this is what I've been working on all day. Um, all day? All day? Well, all right. So uh, my my mother in law normally watches uh, my little girl while we go to work. Well, she also watches another little girl that's part of the family, and mm -hmm. uh, she was sick the day before. Mm -hmm. So we've been really lucky with keeping my daughter away from sickness. So I said, "Well, is she coming over to the house tomorrow or today?" And they're like, "Yeah, unfortunately." So all right, well then I'm going to work from home. That way, she doesn't have to be around that. Right. The last thing I want right before Christmas is to have her sick as can be. So, understandable. So, yeah, while I was trying to work on actual work, I had this pulled up and was messing with the uh, <laughs> with, with this all day. Yeah, working from home is amazing, dude. Not really. <laughs> I don't get anything done, uh, and I can't find time to code. So. I'll most likely still have to take a vacation day today. Shoot. Got it. 
Ryan says, wait for the Dover and let the people from the back stay. Yeah, it is a cool feature, man, because before I was always looking back and forth between the drawing and stream yard. But there was a little setting that says uh, alert when guests come in. So I get like a little doop in my eardrums. And Marcus says, hey, Josh, here, have a cheeseburger. <laughs> hey, Marcus. Marcus is the bomb diggity, man. So, so check he is a super supporter. I got, I got to share something with you. So What's up, I, I inked this part, Deku's face. Well, my uh -huh. wife gets home and she's like, well, I want to ink. So she's inked all night all the way up here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so I'm having to go back over some of her lines to yeah. make them a little bit smoother, a little bit cleaner. Right. But for the most right. part, she did a pretty good job of uh, yeah. putting the inks down for me. Yeah. 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 Here you go. Um, Squirrel Chat actually uploaded their death battle between uh, Alt Might and Mike Guy on YouTube today, and oh, yeah. I have to say that has some of the best animation I've seen seen on a, a death battle show. Yeah, I don't know who the other character you said was, Death Mike. Mike, Mike Guy from Naruto. Yeah, I'm not Naruto. I, I can't get into that show. I don't know how many hundreds of times I've tried. I just can't do it. Yeah, that's not a show. I'm not a fan of the show either, but I remember liking Mike Guy. No, I'll do commissions for for the characters, and I'm like, who? And they're like, you know, blah blah blah. I'm like, no, I really don't know, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're gonna have to show me a picture of the guy. And once I show, I'm like, oh yeah, he had this feature. They're like, yeah, I'm like, okay, that's all I know about yeah. the character. <laughs> Yeah, he and Rockley are were essentially uh, Bruce Lee type characters. You know how they have all those uh, Bruce Lee clones in every fighting game. Yeah, that, that's them pretty much. Okay. But yeah, I didn't really like Naruto either. I uh, hated almost all the characters. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just it wasn't a show I could get into. I tried tried several times, but I just. Yeah, I, I can't get into it. You think yeah, I would I, like it though? Right. I don't watch any of that stuff. <laughs> Anime is pretty cool, man. But you gotta find the one that really, you know, draws you. you, gotta, in, you know? Yeah, you gotta. Yeah, you gotta find one that works for you. Just like anything else out there, you know, there, there's a lot of you know animes that people are all into, like Death Note and that type of stuff. I'm like, yeah, I'm not watching that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like de I after I after I got done watching Death Note, I was like, I am not watching. I am never touching this again. Yeah, and, and that's not a show I ever ever wanted to get into. But like, you know, the the uh, Gundam Wings, I was really big into in the '90s, and uh, the boy version of Sailor Moon, the uh, Ronin Warrior, Warriors, Love which came out which came out first, by the way. So it's more like Sailor Moon's the girl version of them. Yeah, but you know what? It's on Amazon, so you can watch them. Yeah. In fact, I actually watched it in its original Japanese on YouTube. Oh, nice. Now, Jim, if you were to get into an anime, I would say start off with this this My Hero Academia. It's just so good. The comedy is so great, and the artwork is amazing. Yeah. And the story plot, it, it just it, it doesn't leave you wanting. Yeah, yeah, it's like it's like you think a concept with oh everybody has superpowers would would be downright stupid, but the way they do it is like most of the quirks are useless when it comes to a, when it comes to a fight, so they use them for different jobs. Yeah, <laughs> which actually makes sense. I mean, which I mean, which actually makes sense if you had a world full of mutants, you. Not all of them would have uh, what on all all of them would have eye blasts or claws coming out of their knuckles. No, some of them probably would have something stupid like frog like frog features or something like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I, I go, okay, <laughs> I'm like, okay, yeah, uh huh, yeah, I don't, I don't know, I just never got into it. And then there's poor Deku, who was who was born with no quirks, and he has more balls than all of them. Yeah, like I said, Jimmy, I think you'd like it. Mm -hmm. 
my wife absolutely hates anime. <laughs> hey, I, I think it. I think I think your wife has great taste. <laughs> hates, hates it, dude, and then as soon as she saw the first episode of this, she was hooked. I don't know. I, I'll, I'll one of these days I'll watch it. Uh, I don't know when. I can't make no promises. Yeah. yeah. See, um, that that's kind of the thing that people mostly people don't grasp is like you have your like you have your good anime and there's a bad anime. It's always been like that. Like there are certain animes I won't touch with a ten foot pole, like such as Sailor Moon and Naruto. Now I watch Sailor Moon. Now come on. I try everybody. Everybody I talk to <laughs> keeps saying you need to watch it, and it's original Japanese. And I no, tried no, to watch no. it, and it's original Japanese. I couldn't get past the first episode. No, they got a remastered one where they went back over and like redid the artwork, and it's it's actually tolerable. I think it's on Funimation. It may even be on Hulu or Netflix. One of the two. Hmm. Uh -oh. <laughs> anyway, now that, now that we're, we're taking a breather, Artist Girls is in the house, Marcus Rob Marquise Roberts is in the house, everybody's saying hello, and that, uh, that Josh Chris is very talented, super, super talented, yes, uh, yes. And, all, and all that good stuff, and cat, now we're caught up on the chat, I was like, hey, excuse the nerds, they're talking about anime, man, you know. <laughs> like, like they get excited, man. They get really excitable. All right, Josh, have you yes. watched The Mandalorian yet? Yeah, I just watched the newest episode tonight. What you think? Um, about the episode? Well, I'm not going to ruin it for people. I'm not going to say anything. I, I'm good. just. I'll say this. I love the show. I love the writing. I love how every episode it either leaves you with the what's going to happen next, or oh my god, I can't believe that just happened. Yeah, so, that's what I was saying. Every episode like is amazing, you know. So I'm glad who they. I'm glad they brought a, a certain character back, female character back in this episode. I yes, I was about to talk about that. I'm not going to say the character. I'm going <laughs> to say this. I'm going to say this. Gina Carano is pulling that character off marvelously. We've been big fans of her for a long time, so you I know, think she's doing it. So I think that's who I wanted to play Wonder Woman to begin with, and but Gaga Dope stole the show. I can't get mad at that. But uh, Gina Carano, she can be She, -Hulk. she can be She Hulk. She -Hulk. You know, Gina Carano, and it's not just because I, I just I, it's just because she is her her personality exudes like I could do this in real life. So playing an act, you know, playing a role ain't nothing. You know, like. So I like it because she really fits that that role so well to me. I think she does anyway. Right. Yeah. I, I was like, man, she she looks good. Well, she doesn't look in the same shape that she did when she was yeah. uh, MMA, but she still looks strong. You know what I'm saying? And she, she looks, looks in like shape. she still has a build. You know, she doesn't yeah, she, like she doesn't let it go all the way out. She hasn't gotten flabby. She's she's just yep. not toned. You know, but she's still muscular. She's yeah. still very muscular. I think she looks amazing still. Where are her organs? Where are her organs? Oh. Um, yeah, no, like I said, we've been big fans of her for a while. So, oh, yeah. yeah. I watched I watched tonight uh, the episode tonight, and I was like, yeah, and then I've been playing Halo waiting for you. So, uh, Playing Halo? You was playing Halo waiting for me to come on? Yeah. Uh, so, like I said, I've been doing this all day, so I was like, I'm not going to get burned out. I'm going to take a breather. I met. I was um, I was I was uh, at the um, the call it centering class. It's uh, basically uh, my wife's uh, checkups. Yeah, you know, and uh, so I was there all day because it's a three hour thing. This is so, a stress test. No, they um, it's like a class slash checkup slash. So they do all the stuff. Um, they start. You go in like. I take her blood pressure, um, and and you know we take her blood pressure and her stats, her pulse. I take her way, right? Then they go check on uh, the heart rate of the baby, um, and then they do measurements to make sure that everything is is moving right along, you know, right. with her, with the weeks of pregnancy and whatnot. And then after that, they have like a Q and A, uh, 
you know, to talk about topics, you know, like today was, you know, the baby and the rashes that they get and, you know, and, um, you know, how not to stress out about, you know, the umbilical, uh, the umbilical cord when it starts to fall out, you know, how it's going to be this and that, but don't stress and, you know, given all these little th it's things that I forgot because it's been over 20 years since my last baby, you know, so it's, it's, you know, it's like a little class, you know, so they do all the stuff that's like, um, I didn't have no class. <laughs> no, no, it, it's it's pretty cool. Well, you know, I, no, I would have loved to have a class. We didn't have no class. Yeah, well, you know, this is this is you know this is an army thing. It's an army program, so right. No, I'm just saying, you know, our our visits were always um, the worst things happening scenarios. Yeah, no, but it, it was cool, you know, and um, of course, uh, so so that's what we do, right? And then uh, it's twice twice a week now. And then next month it'll be once a week till she pops. So, so most of my afternoons I'm gone doing that, you know. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. I mean, like I told my wife, I, I, this, they, they definitely refreshed my mind on a lot of things that, you know, and this is her first baby, so she was, she, she wants that thing, you know, she wants to get as much information as she can right. possibly get. You know, um, which is good for her, man. And I and I'm I'm there to support her. I don't have right. to go to the classes, but I do. You know, my job is very understanding, and they they're like, cool. You know, just go take care of your wife. So I like, all right, cool. You know, so that's what we that's what I did pretty much all day. And and you know, it's, it's enjoyable. Um, some parts, you know, some parts not so much. My wife has taught my daughter to when she says please to clasp her hands together and put them to one side of her cheek. Oh Lord. <laughs> to be adorable. <laughs> it's so freaking adorable. She did it to me today. <laughs> she wanted a, she wanted a piece of us I, I cut up some apples for dinner because I knew she wasn't gonna really eat what we were having, but you know I was gonna have some some fruits and vegetables for her and stuff and right. and she was like apple pea and she did the whole thing and I was like oh my God yes you can have an apple <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh, you said Marquise Roberts is saying so many times individuals watching the same live stream. What's everyone's um, vector program of choice? Uh, Josh is using um, Adobe Photoshop. Uh, Shinobi Raccoon and I use uh, Clip Studio. Yep. Um, I used Clip Studio back whenever it was called Manga or whatever the hell that was called, and uh, oh, Manga, Manga Studio. Studio. Yeah. And I absolutely hated it. So that's why I switched over to Photoshop. And that's fine. It's not for everyone. Yeah. yeah the studio just didn't have the bells and whistles you guys have. I mean, it was, you know, it was nothing. And so now I've already invested all this time and effort and money into this. Right now I'm not willing, willing to jump to another program. I don't right. use one. I mean, all programs pretty much work the same. They just have a few other added features um as long as it makes pretty lines on the screen i'm okay with it i don't really care i'm just i've already been paying for this <laughs> yeah but but the pretty lines are more a product of right. you than anything <laughs> else you know what i'm saying i don't know like, it took me an hour to to finally get the right brush so <laughs> oh yeah the brushes is a whole different ball of wax you know like like um sketchbook on the galaxy note is pretty amazing too yeah, I I inked the whole project on it just to test it out, and uh, of course, besides killing the hell out of my battery, <laughs> <laughs> um, and the fact that the screen is smaller and the stylus is smaller, it was it, it came out pretty good. I was like, ooh, th this this came out pretty good. So now you know I got the iPad because you know I like I like to be mobile. You know when I when I <laughs> when I'm doing stuff. So now the iPad works great, and uh, and then of course. Um, Sketchbook on uh, on on uh, Android also has screen recording for making time lapses. So I'm gonna test that out one of these days and see how that comes out. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, it, it's it's not bad, not bad. Marion says I have Sketchbook and one day I'll get around to figuring how to use it. I only use it on on a mobile device. Uh, I haven't tried it like on because I have Clip Studio, so I'm not even interested in in after I, you know uh, on anything else while I'm on the computer is strictly Clip Studio. And then um, on the iPad is Procreate. 
and of the Android devices, it's uh, Sketchbook. But I really like Procreate on the iPad. I think it's it's freaking amazing. You can also get Clip Studio on the iPad, but you have to pay for the you have to pay a monthly subscription, which I think sucks. Right. Because I already own it, so why do I need to pay a monthly subscription just so I can use it on my freaking um, iPad? Uh, I'm not is, down with is that. It the same version, or do they constantly update it? it they constantly update it. The one on, on the on the iPad. Yeah, because yeah. it's, it's subscription based. Yeah, that, that's why you're paying for it, man. Yeah, it's subscription based. It sucks, based. but that's exactly why. Yeah, I get it. Everybody wants to go to pay pay per use, a la carte yeah. programming. But it is what it is. Ryan says I have it on PC. Nah, I don't have that on PC. I use I think I had it once. It came on one of my old PCs. Yeah. You know. But um I think I like it on the mobile device better. Okay, it got me trouble. My daughter was born a few days ago. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> I hear you, Marquise. We we all we all go through that. Well, at least Josh and I <laughs> went through what procreation and and uh, kids being coming about. Oh yeah, I got two. So. Um. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, man. So yeah, Josh, man. I'm 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 glad to see you. Uh, you started doing some streams. Sorry, I couldn't join you, but you know. Oh no, I, I dude, it's you know we understand. We all work on different schedules, and you know you yeah. have a, a brand new baby on the way. So yep, you know mine are you know they're old. I don't care anymore. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Um, yeah. Just I'm trying to. Marky says, how'd you guys get so talented? Uh, how do you get to Carnegie Hall? Practice. <laughs> years and years yeah. of practice. How do you get to Carnegie Hall? But I'm not really that talented. I'm just I'm just an uh just an guy that's learning to ink. Josh is actually really good at drawing. Snobi is super good at drawing right. too. I'll zoom out real quick so we all can see this poster. Let's see. What you got going on? Yeah, I'll do this like this. So yeah, this is on eleven by seventeen. Mm. And I drew it on by pencil. Did yeah. I draw it traditionally? Then put it on pro on uh, scan it in, or did you draw it all on? Uh, I drew Adobe? it all traditionally. Right. Um, and then I uh, and then I scanned it in with my um, big eleven by seventeen scanner. Um, right. I had a hell of a time trying to get it to scan. It kept messing up on me. But um, yeah, it, the scan finally turned out okay on the fourth one. Right. Plus, Elcha says he's really not that talented. No, I didn't say that. That was Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, you know, I, I still have a lot to learn. You know, I, I, uh, I quit. What on earth did she do here? Um, I, I don't know <laughs> yeah, like this, this line here. Um, like I said, I'll let the wife ink and she did a really good job. There's a few lines of going like, what happened here? Um, uh, land the pencil I, whenever I, I do that. Yeah. I drew, I drew all through high school and growing up and then, uh, and then I quit and I hadn't drawn in 10 years. And then, uh, we had our, our son and he figured out who Spider-Man was. So I started drawing Spider-Man for him. And uh, just, you know, it, it went from crap pencils and paper to better pencils, better paper, to eventually the, the Copics, to the digital, to the scanners, to this 22-inch touchscreen to, to draw on. And, you know, it's, it's, it, it, it's, it, 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 it definitely is a work in progress and still building um, the muscle memory every day to, yeah. uh, to the further along this process. You know, and, and I do I do commissions and I do conventions at Comic Con, so I'm always I'm I'm having to hold myself up to a really hard ball game out there because there's so many artists 
that can draw the same thing as me. I just have to throw something else in there that will make you want to come back to me instead of go to the guy right next to me. Right. So it's, you know, and I've been doing this in a professional, as I say, air quotes, professional uh, manner for almost seven years now. Maybe, yeah, almost seven years. Hmm. I'll tell you, man. One of these days, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be like Josh, Chris, man. He's gonna be like Mike. <laughs> I'm gonna be like Josh, Chris. One of these days, right? The great Josh. I don't know about the great Josh part. Now, come on now. <laughs> the culprit kid, Josh. And my wife thinks that's the funniest daggum thing Manny's ever done. <laughs> Put that on the I back like of the card. Oh yeah. Oh, you got him. Yeah, I, I got it. I got it in yesterday. Um, I haven't read the comic. Uh, I, I didn't want to read it with my kids around. So when I was right. on my, you know, my seven-year-olds, I'm like, Daddy, what are those? I'm like, nothing you need to look at. Just quit. Um, Hold on, but son. Nothing to see here. About, huh? I said, move along, son. Nothing to see here. Exactly. Yep. Yeah, this is daddy time. Go away. Um, but uh, yeah, I got the cards, and so my wife took a picture of the front and back of one of the cards sent it to my family she's like look at one of one of josh's uh, uh, uh she, what does she call it? she's i think she said friend but i think she also said something else um that did a variant and he did got to do a card and blah 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 so yeah it was pretty neat <laughs> he sent me he sent me i don't even know how many good god that's Ooh. a lot of cards i didn't do any cards and I had, and I got a nice stack. That's why I'm saying, if you don't get it in time, and you want to send some to your family, bro, he gave me, he gave me a hell of a stack. Why did he give us so many? I guess because he, they were cheap to print, or maybe he just really wanted us to have them. I don't know, but I got, uh, I got three of them. I got yours. I got um, the chibi one that won, and then I got the skunk girl laying to the side. But he gave me one of. Of not stack, but one individual card of each, and oh. I must have gotten like four or five stacks of my card. Yeah, I got a stack of yours. There's got to be like fifty cards in here, bro. I'm I don't I'm just sitting there like, what does he want me to do with this? And I feel well, bad. I, mean, like, I pay him back. I mean, just you know, uh, when you go to your next con, put them out. <laughs> I know my wife's like, oh, Copic Kid. Okay, this might be your name. I'm like, don't you do it. <laughs> <laughs> that is the funniest nickname ever. No. Oh, not. no, no. I got, so no, what I got, wait a minute. I got, so I got, like, apparently I got more than what I thought I have. Apparently I got a mix stack because this is not Cesar. Oh, yeah. So I got Cesar's and yours. Okay. I got the Chibi. I got about I got the chibi. I got yours. I got a lot of yours, bro. I got a lot I, of mine. And I got a lot of and I got, I got only a little bit of Cesar's. Cross hmm. Comics is in the house saying hello to everybody. Hey Rick, how you doing? Sorry about that, bud. We we getting around to saying hello to people as they come in. Yep. Uh yeah, but I got a whole bunch. See, now me, I, I don't do cons or anything like that, but at least you. You know, you could have them out on the table. I guess maybe I do guess. A, I mean, maybe do like a remark. I don't know, or just have them on the table for sale. I'm not selling cards. cards. Or maybe yeah. just give them away. I was gonna say I'm not making a profit off something that he gave to me. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not doing that. Okay. Uh, Trusty says I should have gotten. Okay, let me open the packs, Trusty. You should have gotten. Know. You should have honestly gotten one of everyone's card, dude. Hold on. There's the chibi, 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 chibi. Yeah, what a Josh, 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 Josh. Cesar, 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 Cesar. That's one stack. I have a smaller stack. Okay, do the smaller. Open it up. All right, hold on, hold on. Unboxing video without no camera. Hold on, hold on, everybody. Hold on. Uh oh, trusty! I got some trusty. All right, trusty, see, trusty, yeah, trusty, 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 trusty. I don't know who did this one. Who did this? One? Ah, tank. Yeah. Tank. 
tank, 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 chibi. It's a lot of the chibi. And then there's one card. That says, Jimmy, thank you for all your support. It's been one wild ride. It's a blast live streaming with you. Aloha, Manny. And I got one of those thank you cards, which is yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, I got cool. a thank you card, too. Yeah, I got, yeah, I got it, too. You know, so that's cool. Trusty says, ta-da. Look, man, Trusty, nobody cares. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> nobody cares. Trusty, nobody cares. I'm just kidding, Trusty, man. You did an amazing job. I just oh so I got the book right and uh and um I got the I got the El Borinquenir uh versus Skunk Girl uh variant sketch cover right uh -huh. which came out pretty hot I ain't gonna lie and so I showed it to my wife and then I you know I show her the like the the wall of fame where all the um where he put up all the stuff that people sent him uh -huh. and I showed her I showed her the Funko uh the Skunko Pop. She was like, that actually came out really good. I like I, that. I, I thought so too. I showed my wife your Funko Pop too. Yeah. I was Last like, night, oh. I opened up the comic and it's got the whole section in there. Yeah. yeah that's, I was like, what, you know, I started naming off some of the people that I, that I knew. I right. Like, He's Funko Pop. Yeah. That's Funko Pop is, uh, it's, 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 it's a crowd pleaser. <laughs> it's, <laughs> I thought, it's just overall cute. And it's too cute, did, right? You did a very good job on it. It was too cute. Well, actually, it looks way better when Manny colored it. Oh, Sinobi's got his second screen going. It looked way better uh, when uh, when Manny colored it than, than the line work. The line work was okay, but then Manny put color to it, and it just popped. Yeah. No, but that's that's true on all the Funko Pops, too, because they all look, you know, generic the same. You know, the same body, same head. You know, you yeah. just had a few other details to it, but you you made it look cute with right. adding all the details to it, and then yeah, and then his his colorization on it really brought it to life. So your yeah, collaboration it, on it really it uh, worked. Brought together a really cute uh, picture. Yeah, <laughs> Marquez Roberts a skunko pop smiley emoji. Oh yeah, that's what we call it, the skunko pop. The skunko pop is amazing. <laughs> One of these days. Uh, we'll show it to y'all again. It's just so cute and adorable. It's uh, it's a skunko pop. I, I don't know what else to say about it. Skunko pop, it's really nice. Yeah, man. So so I was telling Shinobi. I don't know if you heard. I went to my yeah. um, comic book shop, and since you know I got a couple extra copies of the book, I gave it to a clerk over there that uh -huh. that uh, kind of uh, that kind of. She, she she likes reading everything. So I was like, man, I think you're going to like... Uh, I call her Wonder Woman because she's like six feet tall. Um, so I said, I think you're going to enjoy uh, Skunk Girl. She was like, what is that? I said, well, it's an independent comic book. You don't mind reading indie. She said, no, I don't mind reading I said, I'm going to bring your copy for you in the shop, right? So y'all can check it out. Let me know what y'all think about it. So I brought it to her today because I went to pick up my um, my Firefly issue number 12 because I'm, you know, I, I do read comic comics other than indies. You know, that's really considered an indie because it's by Boom. So I digress. I digress. Yeah. Uh, when you'll be able to get the Skunko Pup made Shinobi. No, the Shinobi didn't make it. Now, nah, Manny did. And Manny actually, actually made, took some uh, Funko Pop dolls and then made his own Skunko Pop off of those using, what did he use? Silly Putty, whatever. What was that thing he used? Uh, I don't remember what he used, what like the process, but he told yeah. me which, he told me which which Poppy used to do it off, and I don't remember which one it was, but yeah, yeah. But anyway, he made some, so he's actually got some physical ones made. Uh, and if he if he jumps on the stream because he's on Hawaii time, he probably uh yeah. he's probably still working. But if he yeah. jumps, Sculpey, there you go, Trusty. Thanks, buddy. Trusty knows the deal. If he jumps on. Maybe I'll get him to do a, a Skunko Pop reveal for you guys, you know? And uh, so well, you can check it out, man. It, it came out freaking amazing. Josh, what brand of scanner do you use? I have a Mustek A3 24000S, which I can scan 11 by 17. <laughs> you got it. I use some type of, uh, what is it, uh, brother? 11 by 17 in force 
scanner. I bought it like as soon as I decided we were going to start doing digital. And I was using a Surface Pro 2 at the time. And yeah, I spent like 300 something dollars just for the size of the scanner. And it's got print and everything else with it too. It's got all the bells and whistles, but I just want the scanner. And it was the only thing I could cut that, that I could find that could right. actually see in person. So we, we dropped the money on it. And, you know, unfortunately the, the scanner does, I can't get it connect to the Wi-Fi anymore. So whenever I scan, I have to scan it to a thumb drive and then pop that thumb drive into my computer. Right. Oh, wow. Yeah, it used to, it used to not have any problem. I used to be able to just do Wi-Fi and scan and plop and turn on my computer. But uh, ever since I switched to this other spectrum uh, range, it doesn't like it. Right. You don't like it? It's probably no. not. It's probably not whitelisted. I, I don't know. I just, hell, they probably didn't even have the the driver to be able to do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah, I don't know what that is. Yeah, I don't. I don't know anything about scanners either. I have zero scanner. I, I uh, download the pictures from whoever sends them to me or down on the internet. I either <laughs> I plug <laughs> I plug whatever device I'm gonna use it on. Take the picture, drag it onto it, <laughs> call it a day. <laughs> That's it. Of That's course. It. I don't. I don't. I don't. You know. I, I don't get too complicated. It doesn't get too complicated oh. for me. So someone else does the, uh, the does the hard part of getting the scan to you, and you just do the easy part. Yeah. 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 Um, she says, my runs 170 bit is only a flat bed scanner. I had an all-in-one printer scanner once when the inners went. It became a brick, so I stick to single-purpose peripherals. Yeah, you know, whenever I upgrade again, I will just literally just get a scanner just to get a scanner. Nothing else, no print, no nothing, no fax. Don't care right. about all that other stuff. It's just at the time, you know, five years ago, uh, yeah. that's all I could find, you know. It, we, we would go to, like, Best Buy, and I was like, God, these things are so expensive. But yeah. You know, we had we went to like two or three different Best Buys just to even get an idea of what we wanted. And finally, we saw one. She was and my wife was like, "Okay, we got the money for that. If you want to do it, do it." I said, "All right." So we jumped just that way I could get the digital started. Right. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, no, man. I I think uh, being able to work digital is amazing too, though. You know, I mean, yeah, just because like the things that you do now. Like when you do the cons, now you can just, you know, you have the ability to do all your posters and keep the files and, you know what I mean? Yeah, I can send them back to the printer and be like, hey, I need another 25 of this of this print, you know? <laughs> yeah. You right. Know, I, you know, I still do all my originals. I'd rather do originals all day. But, you know, there's a small percentage of people that would that still buy prints. So, well, you know, um, the thing with the prints is they're, they're cheaper than the original art, but you still get the artist's work. You know what I mean? Yeah, but you know, for the first, I don't know, year, I couldn't sell a print to save my life. I could sell originals all day, man. I'd end up with nothing in my book. I'd end up with nothing in my portfolio to sell at the next con. And my wife would be like, why aren't you making any more uh, you know, digital prints and stuff? I was like, because I got no originals. I got to get this inventory filled back up. So in the past, I don't know, two years, it's it's – it's gotten a little bit better with the prints, so that's that's why we felt that it was okay to invest in the said touchscreen and and right better stuff here. Right. No, I, I get it, man. I get it. You know? If it doesn't pay for itself, Josh ain't keeping this crap. Right. Right. <laughs> no. Right. But you know, as long as you're doing art and, and what you seem to be doing all the time, it's going to pay for itself. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, like I said, the day this doesn't, Josh is gone. Josh won't be doing it no more. I, <laughs> it's a second job that some days Josh doesn't even want to do anymore. Um, right. You know, the whole competition thing between other artists at conventions. You know, certain conventions, I walk into the door and I go, God, I'm not going to make any money. And it's true right. sometimes. And it hurts, you know. you, And at the same time, you know, I've got – I've got a really good job and I don't have to worry about the money from the con paying the light bill, but some of these other guys that are there, you know, this is their bread and butter. And I always feel bad about if my stuff is, 
too good compared to theirs. They ain't getting no money. I'm taking it all. You shouldn't. You shouldn't feel bad, man. All they gotta do is step the game up. Yeah. yeah. It's I mean, easier said than done. Yeah. You know. Shady D says, what's up, people? How you doing, Shady D's? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, I think you're new to the stream. I don't think I've ever seen you. Unless you changed your name for something else. I know, right? Because <laughs> I remember there was a Dirty Deeds. But anyway, I digress. <laughs> Bless right. you. Thanks. Don't do it again. You only get one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get uh, uh, Bless times infinity. There you go. That's it. No, no, no. You only get one blessing. After that, it's damnation. <laughs> uh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Josh, don't play. No, nah, I don't play with that. You keep those boogers in your head. <laughs> <laughs> that was a sneeze. Yeah, that was that was a muted. Uh, oh, no, nah, it's been a while since Shady D's. Yeah, no, that was a that was how he tried to mute the sneeze <laughs> and try to it have cover it. You try to cover it and try to mute it, but something it still work. came through. You know. Try to cover the microphone with his hand, but instead covered it with his nose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now the poor microphone um, needs to be disinfected. <laughs> <laughs> Clean up. <laughs> yeah, I uh, uh, Rebel Gaming just had just followed me on uh, D. I mean uh, D Life. Oh yeah. yeah. So how's your D Life coming around? You uh, how many are you, you getting subscribers? You get or followers? I don't. There's not subscribers on. Yeah, there are subscribers on D Life, but they pay for the subscription. You also get followers. Yeah, um, uh, I I'm up to about fourteen or fifteen followers. Oh, you're doing good, man. Shoot. I mean, I am out of that. I almost hit a hundred on YouTube. Dude, if you start streaming regularly, you you will start gaining. <laughs> I, was like, I mean, oh, seriously. Crap. Yeah, I mean the trick is streaming regularly. <laughs> I mean now that now that you're you know using your stream to finish out um, your your artwork and whatnot, people are gonna start. You know it's it's slow at first. You know you don't remember how slow it was. I'm just, I'm just joking with it, you know, going like holy crap, you know, I, we've been doing this for over a year, and I'm just now about to hit a hundred. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but you can do I, it, man. I'm at almost 160 now. But I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that I put that I put regular videos on YouTube. Yeah. Like I said, I'm not worried about it. You know, I just yeah. I found it funny the other day. I, I actually looked because it said someone subscribed. And I was like, holy crap, people are actually doing that again. Yeah. Which is which is funny because most of my views come from people who aren't subscribed for me. <laughs> Yeah, that's the same thing uh, for me. Like, it's like people subscribe X amount, people not subscribe X amount. I was like, well, at least they watched. Yeah. Maybe one day, at least maybe one day they'll subscribe. But yeah. if they don't, that's fine. Like yeah. I said, man, you know, um, I think, but yeah, I think everybody drops their lights, but they're getting viewed. <laughs> yeah, at least for you, um, Shinobi. I think because you like you, you stream alone because of your of your work schedule. I think, I think I really do think the D Live is good for you because you can put yeah. the music, you can chill, you know, and, and you don't have to worry about copyright strikes yeah. uh, and all that good stuff. Being a regular will also feed the algorithm and give it incentive to show your videos to people, says Artist Girl. Yeah. Good point. You know, and that's and that's what it is. I mean, if, remember at first we were almost doing this every day. Were we? Every day but Wednesday. Uh, yeah, every day but Wednesday. Uh, so, but now I'm just doing Mondays and Thursdays, and then when the little one comes around, I'll just be working around her schedule. <laughs> I'll be like, oh like, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you gonna you gonna let me uh you gonna let me rest and stream, little one? Yeah, no, no, okay. <laughs> Not today. Not today, Dad. Not today. You got to take care of me. I'm little. And I can't defend myself. Right. Yeah. It's a beautiful thing, man. I ain't mad at it. It's a beautiful thing. You said <laughs> that all I can think about is Jurassic Park too. He's like, yeah, in the beginning it's all oohs and ahs, and then there's running and screaming. 
<laughs> that might be some of that. <laughs> you never know. There might be some of that too. I might be running and screaming. Right. Like, well, oh, I'm gonna go visit Josh for a couple of months. I'll be back. <laughs> I ain't got the extra room. Go to Hawaii. <laughs> that would be awesome. Yeah. Speaking of that, my son um, is considering going into the Marines. Oh, really? The cool. Yeah. Junior? Yep. Really? That's great. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. He's uh, he's been he's been learning that life is not as easy as he thought it was going to be. Yeah, especially after dad leaves. Yep. Yeah. And, and he had a series of unfortunate events. He 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 met he hit a deer. On, uh, okay, he's the one that had the wreck. Both two of them have right. I knew two, but he's the one that that hit the deer. Hit the deer. And and his uh his little beater that we bought him, you know, we bought it cash. It was like a five thousand dollar, you know, beater. Right. Um. Um. So it's, it took so much damage, it got totaled. Right. They yeah. they to right. say, yeah, we can't we can't fix this boy. Uh, it costs more to fix than it than it than the car costs. Right. So right. total loss. So then he started looking at cars again. He was like, man, I don't know. You know, and he started realizing, hey, you know, I need a job that actually allows me to pay bills and, you know, be able to have money for emergencies. So then um, John, you know, started talking with him. And um, it's funny because he wanted to go to the Air Force. But, you know, the Air Force, if anybody here was in the Air Force, I'm sorry. I'm not mean to offense, But the Air Force are snobs when it comes to recruiting. They are the guy who tried everybody to go in the Air Force. Yeah, because everybody uh, tries to go in. Everybody wants to do the Air Force because it's quote unquote the the more technical, more smart, less physical demanding. I of just want to on really cool airplanes. Yeah, yeah. So, so they're kind of snobbish. You know, like, oh, whatever. We don't need you. Right. You need us. Yeah, they do advertise as like the coolest thing ever. Mm-hmm. So, so. Um, I bet you that recruiter is kicking himself in the head right now because Junior took the ASVAB, which is a test to see your aptitude in certain fields and whatnot. He, he blew it out of the water? He blew it straight out of the water. Dude. <laughs> so was he going to get like really realistically almost any job within the yeah, marriage he, he wants? He, he can get any job he wants, but he chose uh, a motor T, which is mechanic. That's all right. Yeah, I'm not mad at it either. It's but like can take outside and use it yeah. in the civilian world. It's but the thing is, the thing is, this he's he wants to um, eventually get into restoring old cars. There you go. So you know, he figured he can get that education in, in the Marines. You know, working on engines and da 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 stuff like that. Yeah. Because the Marines is not like the Army. The the Marines actually have to fix you know stuff. The Army just replaces parts. Like oh. We'll just order a new part. We're not going to rebuild it. Yeah, has, has to f- try and fix it in two to three different locations. Yeah. Like they'll try and fix it on the boat. And if they can't fix it on the boat, they'll ship it to where the boat um, d- went out from. And if it doesn't go there, they'll take it to another location. And if that doesn't work, then they scrap it and they'll give you a new one. Yeah. So I, th- I think that's a good choice for him. Like, that's what he really wants to do. If he really wants to, you know, like work on older cars and be able to fix them, um, you know, motor wise and it's stuff a good like life that. Choice as well, too. You know, you get that discipline. You get. I mean, I, I I'll tell anyone, I regret not going in yeah. just for the mindset. Yeah. Right. No, and I'm, you know, I'm pretty. I'm, I'm like his scores were so high, he made me look like a dummy, and I scored high. Like I scored high on the ass bab. He scored higher. That's he scored awesome. higher. He scored higher than me and John, and John is pretty smart yeah. too. John, I was like, John yeah. is a smart guy. John is a really smart guy. He scored higher than John. I told John, man, he he made us look like dummies. He said, like, "Yeah, but it's, it's all about him." I said, "You're right. It's all about him. It ain't got nothing to do with us." But man, I was like super shocked. You know, I was proud, proud and shocked. You know, I was like, "Damn, dude, you smart little sucker." <laughs> right. Well, hopefully he he makes the right decision on you know. Doesn't rush into it, you know. Make sure that, that that's the job and career he wants to get into, and you know, and, but, and just and just go in with the mindset, go in better myself, suffer through it, and then if I want to stay, stay. If not, get out. Right. Yeah. And that's what I told him. I said, "Look, 
here's the thing with the military. You got to do at least eight years before you're clear and free of your obligations. Right. You got to do four active and at least four reserves. Yep. I said, do your full eight years active. I mean, I know that's a long time, but when you get out, you're free and clear. If you take classes where you're, where you're still in, it, within eight years, you could at least leave with a bachelor's. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, so, it, 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 I don't know. I've had so many people that said the same thing, and then once they got in, there was no physical way they'd ever be able to take classes. I mean, I took classes. I left with a – didn't leave with a bachelor's, but yeah. – Okay, so I'm just saying right now with what's going on in the world. Yeah. And my but brother you know, not able to take classes at all in the Navy. Yeah, that's that's there's a lot of uh there's a lot of going on. There's a lot of crap <laughs> going on right now that we don't hear about. Some of it we do. There's a lot of crap we don't hear about. And like he was gone for a long time and his wife was gone for an even longer time. And somehow she was she managed to do it. But he was not able to just because of what was going on. Yeah, it, right. it, it all depends on your job as well, yeah. you know, yeah. and, and what they got going on, you know, and and if they can spare the time to let you do it. But even but, if even, you get the but even if you take out. one class, well, even if he doesn't get the schooling while he's in there, he gets the schooling when he gets out. Yeah, but even if you right. take like one class a month, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's not that doesn't that's not a big work schedule, you know, that's not a big load. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you could string out at least a bachelor's in in eight years if you take one class a month. <laughs> like, right. you know what I'm saying? Realistically, you take one, two classes a month. You I know, maybe know. One. I'm not the one to talk about schooling at all. It, it ain't gonna work for me. So, yeah, I but, got a I got a bachelor's, and no, I didn't even get. Uh, I got associates. Sorry, I got associates. I think about that, and that's all. I'll never get any more. No, no, but you know, it's, it it all depends on what cho what field you choose too. Like our field doesn't need it. Like well, I didn't go art. <laughs> you know. <laughs> no, I'm talking about like uh, you know, IT and stuff. You don't really yeah. need. You don't need college. No, you just to go in that field. You just really need certifications. Don't. Yeah. And that's a, it's the same thing with uh with if he chooses to be a mechanic, you don't really need a degree. You need those certs. Yep. Right. You know, but those those certs you can you have to take classes. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So that's all I'm saying is get get whatever you need, like whatever field you choose. If he gets a chance to take whatever it is he needs to take to get those certs, Thank so you. when he steps out, when he's free and clear oh, yeah, of what he definitely. needs to do, you know. It's just he awesome take, that he's even considering it. You know what I mean? You know, he could take he could take that experience and say, I got eight years experience in the Marine doing this. I got all these certs in the civilian sector that I need. So now he's not coming in ground level, like yeah. you know, like plus like if getting, anybody, mm -hmm, go ahead. Plus if anybody needs stuff from Lowe's, he can always use his discount. <laughs> well, like my yeah. dad's company, uh, if you served in any in any of the branches, uh, you're almost guaranteed to get that job a hell of a lot faster than someone else who's just gone to college for it. Right. I mean, that's. I mean, there's a lot of experience, you know, that goes into that, especially if you if you work in a field, you know. Yeah. Hey, Pablo Romero Art stepped in the house. What's going on, Pablo? It's a Pablo. It's Pablo Romero. Yeah, man, but I'm pretty proud of him, man. I'm happy that that he's uh that he's looking into it. You know, big big ups to John for for helping him get all that. Cause John John is over there, so John was helping him, you know, get with the recruiter and stuff like that. That's awesome. Cause you know, Junior's car was busted, so I asked John. I said, John, man, can you help Junior out with this situation? And he was like, Yeah, man. So, what's your wife think about it? Uh, she's she's uh she's good with it. She's not happy about the mechanic part, but as like I told her, it's it's, it's his life to live. It's his mistakes well, to make. I mean, mechanics are going to be hard to find here in the future. So it's like I told her. I said, look, you never you never see broke mechanics. <laughs> <laughs> that's because everything. That's because something always needs to be fixed. Well, it's not only that. If you go like go to Pet Boys or you go to 
to to get your car service, man. You pay it. You pay a lot of money. It's not. Yeah. It's never any. It's not cheap to get all that stuff done. Oh, I'm gonna get copyright strike because my phone played freaking ESPN. <laughs> <laughs> I had I had my phone on because my wife is out out of the house, and I needed to hear the phone ring as she called. Um, yeah, but you know, um, so so that's good stuff, man. It's it's, and uh, the thing is, and I, it's like I told her, I said, look, Junior is really really smart. I think academic stuff just bores him. So maybe he just wants to try his hand in something more manual, you know. Uh, and there ain't nothing wrong with that. No, there's nothing yeah. wrong with that at all. You know, if you're gonna go in to one of those branches, do it. Do do a job that you're interested in. Yep. And that's another thing I told her. I said, look, being in being in service is already hard enough as it is. Exactly. You're already getting yelled at twenty four seven, lack of sleep, sometimes lack of food in some parts because you. Somebody screwed up, so you don't get dinner because you got to line up. You got twenty-four hour duty in the Navy sometimes, where you just stand there and pretend you're on a boat. So mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, there's there's constant stuff. So definitely do a job that intrigues you and it's yes. going to keep you, keep you going. Right, because that that's basically it. Because if you're gonna hate, you know, hate being in, and then you're gonna hate your job on top of that, your life you, is just gonna suck. You ain't gonna get out just because you don't like it. There ain't no quitting. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when your time is up, when your time is up. Yeah, when your time is up, it's not like yeah, but that, I don't feel like I don't yeah. feel like going into work today. No, 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 no. You going to work? <laughs> oh, yeah, you're gonna go to work. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then doctors, they, they want you to go to work too. They're not just going to give you a doctor's notice. I mean, you got to be really sick. <laughs> nope. oh, that's what the joke is. You're motrin in water. That's all yep. you get. But yes, you know, I'm, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty proud of him. I'm, you know, I'm hoping he it works out for him. You know, that is awesome, man. I'm hoping it works out for him, man. So, you know, like I said, it's one of the biggest regrets of my life. I mean, you know, I wish I had gone in when I was 18. And, right. and not made the life choices that I did. You know, no, you know, but you always look back and like, would I be the same person? I don't know. But, you know, I just, hey. I, I wish I had done that. Now, I'll tell you what. Your life turned out the way you needed to turn out. Yeah. Oh, there's no argument with that. You know, it was just on a personal level when you look back at it. Oh, yeah, man. Like, I I had. Yeah. yeah, I get I, that. I get that. Why you know? did I take the blue pill? Yeah, <laughs> I get that. I ain't even mad at that. I'm just, and you know, like I said, I'm just happy he's he's realizing, you know, hey, um, yeah, sometimes it, you gotta. It took him hitting a deer and having no car to go. Uh, maybe I should do something better. Yeah, yeah. He, I he hit do the, something with my life. He hit the he, he had to hit that wall, and, uh, and that wall just happened to be uh, in the shape of a deer. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, which, which is cool. I can, you know, he he managed to uh, to get a replacement car, but he's still like, yeah, March, he's out of here. You know, that's what he's saying right now. In March, he's gone. Right. So that that's all yeah. good and well, you know. Yeah. Now I got to do it all over again. So here we go. Here we go. And he was the baby until the yeah, he was. Yeah, he was the baby. There we are. He was the baby, the youngest of the young. Right. And now he's a grown man, just like that. <laughs> <laughs> just like that. Just like that. And so hopefully, if he goes, uh, I'll be. I'll definitely be going to his graduation. So that would be awesome. I'll be back in the East Coast. <laughs> so that would be cool. Where is the Marine? For him, it's going to be Paris Island. Okay. I think that's in South Carolina. And then... Um, My brother lived in Florida, but his boot camp was in the Great Lakes. Yeah, that makes sense. 
No, but the Marine only has two training facilities, one on the East Coast, one on the West Coast. Gotcha. Right. You're on the East Coast, you go on to Ferris Island. <laughs> I think if you're like from te- in the middle of Texas East, I don't know how they divide it up. <laughs> no. But but uh um so for for a fact he'll be going to South Cax. And then um it seems like the job that he has, his first duty assignment is gonna be Japan. Now how cool is that? Ooh, the land of the rising sun. So how cool is that? I told him, hey man, I'm coming to visit. <laughs> yeah, if my brother had stayed in, he would have been in Japan for two years and he he didn't want to do that. Yeah. Uh, I can imagine all the weebs that would want to be in his place right now. Yeah. Hey, I don't know. I just would like to go just to experience something different. Go That's run and a, a certain bear over there. Yeah, I mean I yeah, definitely definitely might do that too, but but you know, I don't know. I haven't really been watching his streams lately. Oh, Chester. And I kind of I kind of been mellowing out. Like if you guys are doing your streams, I only got so many streaming hours I can watch. <laughs> like I'm not yeah, gonna watch exactly. everybody. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm gonna watch the people that are that are loyal and supportive right. to me. And and then uh we'll work it from there. I do that too for the most part. You know. So I'm not going to be watching just everybody. No. He streams when I stream, so he doesn't watch my streams. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So even though his shows are pretty good, you know, they, they're, uh, he's got that art, sh- that art competition show and all that good stuff. So he's got some good stuff going on. I can't even get mad at him. Right. <laughs> but we all started. Anyway, man, so I'm giving away trusty sidekick. Uh, sketch card. I'm just kidding, Trusty. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I trusty, kid, I kid. Trusty did some good stuff with Manny the Manatee. Yes, yes, he did. <laughs> yeah, wow, man, it's already 8 12. Jeez, time flies, right? Time flies when you're having fun. Yeah, yeah, man, but that's. That's beautiful stuff, man. You know, I, I ain't, you know, things are things are going. You know what I mean? Things are going forward. Eventually, Josh will be saying the same thing I'm saying. Can't believe who's my daughters are gonna do this. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm not having another kid. It's not physically possible. No, I'm talking about you know your your kids. <laughs> it wasn't physically possible for me either. No, no, we, we, no, it ain't physically possible on both ends. So. You know, it wasn't physically possible for me either. Not the man, the miracle of modern science. <laughs> Bionic sex. The miracle of modern science. You pulled a demolition man, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Chill. Sure. I just don't know. Hopefully this will, you know, I ain't trying to have no more though after this one. I'm just. She said, <laughs> "I'm just trying to be retired from this. I'm too old, bro. I can't. I, you know, that's what I'm trying to get my wife to realize. I'm just too old for that. Whatever. It is true, bro. I tell her, said, look, she when when this one graduates high school, I'll be 68, which means I'll be <laughs> working." Yes. Till I'll be working till I'm 68 years old, at least minimum. I said, I'm too old to do that. You know, I'm too old to be having any more kids after this one. I'm not trying to work till I'm 75, <laughs> having to still go to work. Right. You know, so it's just, just I just don't want to, honestly, to be honest with you. I just don't feel like I need to be doing that with my life. Right. You know, like, no, I just don't want to do that with my life. I love her, and you know I love the kid, but man, that's just too much. Everyone asks me to whenever they're like, "Oh, your kids are so precious." Can you ever remember a time where you didn't have them? Yeah, I can. <laughs> whenever I had a lot more money too. <laughs> oh yeah, 
Remember when we weren't broke? Yep. I could just buy it whatever I wanted. Yep. Without having to worry about diapers, formula, baby food. <laughs> potty training. Oh, potty training. Yeah, so apparently um, car seats have expiration dates. Yes, they do. I did not know that. Yep, yep, yep. It's made out of plastic. Apparently, the plastic expires. They just huh. no longer deem it uh, road, sa road safe anymore. So... I didn't know that. And they'll get you on that too. No, 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 no yeah. They were like, oh, you, you can only take the kid out of the hospital unless it's on a car seat. I said, what? Yep. Yeah. I said, you have to have, so what you're telling me is I have to get the car seat out the car, yep. lug that heavy piece of junk all yep. the way up to the third floor. Yep. In some places, you can't leave until they double check to make sure that everything is secure with the baby inside the car. Yeah, well, I'm, I don't mind that part. I just don't understand how I'm supposed to carry this car seat up there, put the baby in the car seat, carry well, it okay. all the way downstairs. What, what, what most places <laughs> do slide. now, what most you places know. do now is is they make sure that um, they do a, a test for like an hour. The baby sits in the car seat for like an hour. Oh. So you're not going to be lugging it up, putting the baby in, the, you know, double check, you know, and baby is good to go. Now, normally it's it's they, they'll make the baby sit inside the car seat to make sure that, you know, uh, everything's OK. Especially if you have a child like mine, where it was in the NICU. Yeah, uh, now that part I understand that they um, right. they, they had the uh, pressure sensors and everything still on her when she was in the car seat for an hour. Yeah, see now that part I understand. I understand that part, I, and I need. I'm not even upset about that part. But I'm like, what are y'all talking about? That this what you're talking about makes no sense. You want to check the car seat? Yeah, you want to go downstairs, and see that we're strapping the kid in correct. I get that too. But to lug that piece of junk because this, the car seats are huge, man. Yeah. And car seats are huge, bro. Like we, we had one and we saved it, you know, just in case if we ever had that that second one. And we finally, when we had, we you know, we were new Violet was on the way, you know, we we didn't know they had expiration dates either until I don't know, maybe a month before she was she was even due to come out. Um, and we checked, you know, finally learned about expiration dates, and it had just it was about to go bad, like about to go bad right then. So we went ahead and, and just got one that was newer. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Um, so, yeah, I'm like, what? Now, I don't understand what y'all saying. It don't make no sense. But okay, I'll play your game. <laughs> you better. The baby ain't coming home. <laughs> hey, they want to keep the baby in the hospital and feed her. For an extra couple of days, I'm good with that too. I'll just come by for visitation. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, I'm just gonna have to keep providing diapers and feeding the baby. <laughs> I'm good with that. If y'all are good with that, I'm good with that. No, nah, but I get it. But I, I just, it's just dumb. Like, I'm just hoping you guys have a smooth pregnancy delivery. And yeah, everything. me too. I don't, I don't want you guys to. I don't want anyone to have to go through what we had to go to with both of our kids. Yeah. So I far mean, with my first one, whenever he popped out, um, it was just hell. I mean, the first night was just hell. And the nurse staff, I mean, I was about ready to punch a nurse in the face. If she, I threatened one, she wouldn't lie back in the room. <laughs> I, don't I don't care if you're the night shift nurse. I don't care. You are not allowed back in this room. And, um, and then, yeah, so he wasn't, he wasn't breastfeeding very well. So he, right. wasn't, he wasn't, they, they test diapers and they were like, you know, he's not passing in a sense, you know, he's not, there's not enough liquid, not enough dookie. So it's, he's just, it's, it's not, it's not good. So finally on the second day, I was like, look, my kid's starving to death right now. If you don't give me formula. Because they, they didn't want us to. They were like, no, no formula. You all said you were going to breastfeed, so you go breastfeed. And I was like, if you don't give me formula right now, Walmart's down the street. I will go buy it. 
out of my own pocket and feed this child. That way he can get the heck out of here. Either do it or I'm going. So they finally did. He gulped down the entire bottle. I hmm. said, there you go. He was hungry. Yeah. yeah at, at the end of at the end of the whole thing with our first kid, the doctor uh, that was going to release us, he looked at the notes and then looked at us, looked at the notes, looked at us, and he goes, you know what? I don't care what this paper says. You can take this baby home. What the, what the paper says, you shouldn't. But I'm going to let you guys take it home because – I'm reading all the notes of what you all told the nurses and you all know exactly what you're supposed to be doing. So you can take this baby. <laughs> I said, thank you very much. Bye. <laughs> yeah. I was not happy with those nurses, but ironically we went to the same uh, hospital for Violet and I was just sweating. I was, I was getting ready to have a fist fight with nurses and uh, they had apparently gone through an entire um, program change, nurse change, everything change. And they were on top of everything. Anything we needed, wants, concerns, questions. And I flat out told them, I said, what, what did you guys do? Because I, I never thought we'd ever be back here. And if we did, it's going to be an awful experience again. And I'm going to tell everyone they need to come to this hospital for babies. Right. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty interesting. It's uh, I went. They, they took us to the delivery room area. These people got freaking bathtubs, <laughs> they, wow. so they can soak in if they need if they need to soak in. You know, to yeah. to relieve the pain. They got uh, all these uh, contraptions and whatnot. You know, to help them to help ease with the with the labor. Did you see the vacuum? I did not see the vacuum. Yeah, there's a uh, some type of vacuum apparatus that what they had to use on on our our son that um, he was in a sense he was actually sideways and mm. they're like okay you have two options C-section or I or I physically twist him in a way and then use this vacuum and I was like use the vacuum and they were like shoom, 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 and there's the baby. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So far, so good, man. Marania says, Shinobi, did you save? I'm saving again. You see, now you got me paranoid. Now I just press save. And <laughs> I'm normally okay. <laughs> it's a long story. No, I get it. You know, you work on stuff for a long time, and all of a sudden, it's gone. <laughs> it's happened to me. Yeah, so I didn't see that, but they talked something about it. It, there was some mention about that stuff, and uh, you know, but everybody that's that's I in the class, course. they're all they're all supposed to be due about the same time. Oh yeah, yeah. So it's like I want to say like ten couples in there. Hang on a minute. So it is what it is. Did you we'll actually have to go through like breathing classes and stuff like that? No, they don't do that anymore. I was gonna say I didn't have to do that either. They said they don't. They stopped doing that, so you could go pay for it on your own if you want to do it. Oh wow! Um, but they don't do it. So I was like, nope, not paying. No, I'm already paying enough. I'm still paying NICU stuff. I bet. Dude, like like every time we think we're done, all of a sudden we get something in the mail that says you owe blah blah blah. And we're like, oh god, it's more NICU. <laughs> That's crazy, dude. That is insane. Yeah, hopefully everything will go right like you like you, you know, and it so far so good. I mean Yeah, I mean you haven't said, you know, anything stressful like what Tori had to go through. My God. Yes. The only thing is, um, yeah. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, you're good. Go ahead, because no, the the um the only thing is that she feels like she's not gaining enough weight. But I'm like, baby, you, you, see that if you're eating the right kinds of food, it's all gonna be baby. It's just gonna be belly. Yeah. If you're you eating know? the wrong kind, that's whenever you're gaining weight. So yeah. So, right. but now, now she's now that you know we're on on the last. I think we got like a month and a half left. We got because she's doing February, right? February like ninth, the beginning right. of February. We're like in the middle of 
we we hit in the middle of December now, so we got all of so two months. Let's just say two months to call it a, to call yeah. it a, a round number. Yeah. Now that she's she's getting on the last two months, the belly's growing and she's gaining the weight, you know, but she's still not huge, you know what I'm saying? Well, that's good. And she's like, but, but look at, you know, and I said, baby, don't worry about what all these other crazy people are saying. They're giving said, all their pickles and ice cream at the same time, multiple times a day. <laughs> yeah, I said, you, you just keep eating healthy, you know, because I'm trying to keep her on track because, of course, you know, she she's the one that's, that's in. So yeah. as soon as so she has to be, you know, she has to meet standards pretty quickly. I don't, I don't have to do shit, you know. I'm out. <laughs> you don't need that. I'll eat that for the two of us. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of good to go. You know what I'm saying? Like, but so I, I've been making sure she's eating like healthy food, vegetables. You know my, whatnot. my brother and is they're 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 going to be due in February as well. And she's she's all baby as well. Yeah, she, that's good though. Yeah, no, it is. Yeah, she's and she's kind of complaining too. Like she she posted a picture to us in a little chat we have, and she was like, you know, I can't believe I've only gained. I think she said like ten pounds. I'm like that's all baby. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 awesome. You know, like they don't understand because they're gonna pop right back into shape. And uh, ooh, that's too much black. They're going to pop right back into shape and it's going to be easier for them to do stuff. Right. Um, but if, 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 if you are, if you do too much, man, it's going to be a little bit rougher. Everything's yep. going to be rougher. Yep. Uh, I think, you know, um, no, it's but, true. No, you're, no, you're right on it. it. It really is. Um, so yeah, it's, it's better to be all baby than extra. Right. You know, here we are, a bunch of grown ass men talking about pregnancy. I uh, know, I know. It's not the first time we've done it. <laughs> we had other streams where we was a Nikki doctor. Ironically, my nephew was a preemie. He turned twenty this year, and he's huge. Yeah, you know, I got. I we were we were scared to death, Mariah. I mean, we were. I, we never thought that was going to happen, and it was a crazy scenario where um, we went in for a just a quick checkup, real quick, and they were like literally. The baby's got to come now. We're like, the baby's not, just, the baby's not due. It's like, yeah, but there's too many complications. Um, the baby's got to come out right now. So uh, she still had her naturally, but, you know, is induced, but no C-section. But, yeah, as soon as she came out, um, she, her, her blood sugar would never go up. And hmm. the doctors still, after we were discharged had no idea what was going on. She was in there for five days just because her blood sugar, even after eating, would not come up. And they would rush. They, they, they were doing like the diabetic test where, you know, prick, prick the toe or prick the finger. They mm. just kept pricking the back of the heel. Um, and they would do that beep, beep. And then it would tell the, – the doctor got so furious that he was like, I don't trust this damn machine. And he threw it. And he's like, we're not using this machine you were literally going to take a vial of blood and we're going to rush it down. You have five minutes. And that's what he told the nurse. You have five minutes to get this blood down there to testing and they have whatever the remaining time to get the results. <laughs> and th they were on it. Bam. I mean, whatever time, two o'clock, four o'clock in the morning, bam, bam, blood test, blood test, blood test. Uh, her little foot looked awful. Um, mm. But yeah, so uh, she was on a IV pump with a the strongest pump they had, and uh, with a the highest dose of blood sugar. I'm sorry, a, a water sugar in a sense that they could give her. And uh, and they still the doctors like, look, if things don't turn around, we may have to put an IV straight into her heart, just to see if we can make something happen. And he explained how dangerous that was and stuff. And we really didn't want that to happen. And uh, and then he was like, "Look, if things don't turn around by Tuesday, she's going to have to fly in a helicopter with me and go to uh, Louisville because that's where he was from. Because um, they, they apparently don't have an on-site doctor 100 percent of the time. They rotate doctors from different different uh, hospitals because it's too small. 
So he's like, eh, I'm not leaving her here. So if she doesn't turn around by Tuesday, she's going to have to come with me. And oh. I already told my, my company, I was like, look, I'm not coming back to work until the, my baby's home. So it was, it was a huge ordeal. And by Tuesday, she was off the pump. And he was just like, I don't get it. I have no idea. I have no answer for you. We're like, that's pretty weird. The doctor has been doing this for years, has no idea why the blood sugar was bad. Well, you know. And yeah, it was, I, and my poor wife, you know, whenever, after you have a child, you know, the woman is supposed to rest. You know, you're supposed to be in bed, rest, not walk as much as you need to. She never got that. She literally, after she was discharged, we went to that hospital every day until our baby girl came home. So my wife would, we would stand up for hours and go to the hospital every, for every feeding until like nine o'clock at night. And then we come home and then we just do it all over again the next day. And so she, she never, she was in so much pain and she would not tell me and she would not let her affect her either. Cause she was like, I'm not, I'm not doing anything until she get she gets to come home. So yeah, it was it was an ordeal, dude. Yeah. And unfortunately, and, and I'll, this is probably the only political thing I'll say. Somebody on Twitter that was a close friend of mine um, decided to post that anyone who's Republican shouldn't reproduce, and uh, that was one of the day one of the very first days we were having to deal with this whole going to the hospital and stuff. So oh, I uh, I sent him a message on Twitter and. That's a huge paragraph, pretty much telling him to F himself and never contact me again. And we're no longer friends. And, you know, and he, he came back and said, it was just a, it's just a political funny game. Like, it's not funny. It's not funny. I, I wouldn't wish this on you for any right. political reason. Never. Anybody. So screw you. Never talk to me again. <laughs> Yeah, wishing somebody <laughs> wishing harm on somebody isn't a joke. Yeah, and I was like, you know, I just I don't I don't play these games. I don't get into I, get, I only talk politics with people I trust and know. And yeah. the end of the day, we're not going to get mad at each other. But yeah, I was I was heated, and my wife's like, just let it go. I'm like, no, I can't can't let it go. <laughs> he went too far. He went too far. He chose the wrong day to say something like that. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, some people are crazy. Yeah. Yes. So but yeah, it was it was an ordeal. And like I said, the first son, well the first the first child, um, it was an ordeal too. It was NICU, but yeah, I mean she was on stress test for six months. So she would literally go in and they just do ultrasounds and listening ma machines all over her stomach for hours, and he hated it. He'd kick the mi the microphone off her stomach. They all do. <laughs> my, my kid, my baby hates it too. It's hysterical, and uh, so yeah, she had to do that twice a week until that he came out, and uh, and yeah, but no, hers was the scariest just because of NICU. And so I've got a lot of respect for anyone who who says NICU baby, you know. It's it's scary as hell, and you know I don't I don't wish anyone to ever have to do that. But man, you know those NICU nurses, you get the right ones, you don't have to worry about nothing. Yeah, Shady D says you don't need friends like those. No, you don't. You know, screw that guy. He's an old family friend, and like I love his mom and dad to death. And anytime I see them, I talk to them. But him, on the other hand, uh, I haven't had conversation with yeah. since that day. Yeah, people like that can go to hell in a handbasket. <laughs> I don't want you know. I don't want anything you know ill on him. I just you know, it's it's okay. You're gonna believe that. I'm gonna do this, and that's it. We just won't have any more conversation. Even if I was on the other side of the fence, I never would have ever said that to anybody in this right. world. Yeah, there's certain things you just don't say. No. But uh, here's here's some things that you do say. Shinobi, does the upper chest and the left ear. Not pointed, neat flesh tones on them as well, says Miranda Volcanon. Hang on a minute. <laughs> Miranda's correcting your, your art technique, is what I'm saying. She's on you. She's on you like a cheap suit. 
like a hobo on a hot ham sandwich. Because I kind of just started applying the color. Mariah, that's not, not. Mariah, that sounds like excuses to me. Get them, Mariah. Get them. Yeah, I'm just messing. I like Mariah. Because she's always getting on Shinobi. Well, her tips have been helpful. Well, her... <laughs> She's been helpful, so she just wants you to grow and be better. Yeah, be a better Shinobi than you are. Yeah, Shinobi's just stubborn. It's like I am a better Shinobi. I'm just clay. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'd be making jokes. I'd be making jokes. Also, oh, speaking of, uh, so I had I got two two uh, books of. Um, Packing's Land, uh, Omniboss. I uh, finally got around to sending it to my nephews today. So hopefully they'll get that soon. Nice. You know, uh, you know, I've been spreading the love, spreading the love. You never send me anything anymore. Shoot. <sighs> send you good vibrations. Good wow. vibe. Good, 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 good. Put back in the chair, okay? I don't want any more vibrations. <laughs> <laughs> I send you good vibes, man. Nah, man. I don't send anybody anything. I send like, like this year is, is uh it's it's a bad it's a bad year. All I've been doing is buying a whole bunch of baby stuff. Yeah, I got you. Hey, when are we gonna play some games together, man? I haven't believe it or not, I haven't like, fired up the Xbox or the games in a while. I mean, we kind of just died on the the World of Warcraft, so I'm not I'm not <laughs> that account has uh, expired, so I'm not putting money back into that. Yeah, I haven't played anything. I'm thinking about canceling that myself. Um, I don't I don't know. I just couldn't honestly. That World of Warcraft, it was all, it's all right. It's just not my thing. I get no, I get it. I think we would have had more fun had we started a horde in the beginning because I could have helped out a lot more on that part. I was lost with the alliance side of stuff. I didn't know. I was, was lo I was lost on everything. I was like, I don't know what the freak is going on in this game. Nah, Shinobi's one of my fans, and I'm very appreciative that it, of that and his art. Oh, there's love in the air. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding, man. Look, Shinobi's a good guy. Don't don't let don't let me uh don't let me. Talk smack on everybody. Oh, I think my wife just walked in the house. Oh, Lord. What happened here? I didn't close it. Hold on, fellas. I'll be right back. I want to make sure everything's good to go. Y'all keep the crowd, the, the crowd entertained. Of course. This oh, is a song that doesn't end. Yes, it goes on and on, my friend. <laughs> keep the crowd entertained. <laughs> I don't know what to tell y'all. If you all have any questions, please entertain us. Pablo, are you not entertained? Sorry, I don't have a camera. You can't see my pretty face. Sorry. Um, but no, if you guys have any questions or anything, you know, feel free. Yeah. You know, Ask. Comments. Concerns, emotional outbursts. Oh, no, let's not go that far. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> um, work habit. That's what they say. <laughs> That's what they say at work. <laughs> See, I'll say, how can I fix your computer? He will soon be regaling us with baby shark. <clears throat> that, that's my jam. So, yes. Uh, I, I have heard it, a plethora different versions of baby shark. Uh, my little girl is a baby shark addict. Um, uh, the best rendition, though, if you want to hear the the my favorite baby shark rendition, um, it's a hard rock version, uh, like death metal version, and uh, it's a by a guy named Leo, and he does all sorts of I mean all sorts of covers from all sorts of genres, 
and uh, one of them was Baby Shark, and uh, I found that, and I fell in love with that version, and my little girl, she'll headbang to that version. Um, <laughs> she'll listen to any version, but she, man, she'll get into that headbanging with that with that version. She loves that 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 heavy metal. So yeah, look it up, Leo. Um, Frog Leap Studios. That's what. It <laughs> Frog Leaps. Frog Leap Studio. Uh, All right, um, he uh, he's got an amazing rendition of Baby Shark. So. All right, I'm back. I apologize, but you know, I just want to make sure everything was good to go. They, they, they were course. saying that you're going to have, uh, you're going to be uh, regaling us with Baby Shark. Not if she doesn't know what it is. Uh, no, Baby <laughs> Shark's too cute. Baby Shark is too cute. <laughs> Not if, not if she doesn't know what it is. Not if she ever, ever gets a hold of it. See? Right now, I got her, I got her listening to old school salsa in the belly. <laughs> My little girl loves orchestra, too. Like, I'll be driving on the road on right. the Jurassic Park theme, and she'll listen to John Williams, and she absolutely loves it. But John Williams is amazing, though. I know. Who doesn't like him besides Shinobi? But Shinobi's cold. No Shinobi's just... Nah, man. But I, I don't know. We'll see. You know, I don't know what Baby Shark is. <laughs> to be <laughs> honest with you. Uh, oh my God, you're in but, for a world of hurt. I don't know what that is. Baby Shark. Baby Shark is cute. I mean, it's just, it's just a. What is it? Is it originally a Korean song, or did they just take Baby Shark and just? Korea just absolutely loved him and crazy with it. One of the two. Um, but so it's K-pop. Uh, it's Pink Fong. Um, Baby Shark is almost as bad as Badger, Badger, Badger in terms of earworm song. I see. I don't know Badger, Badger, Badger just because none of my kids were around at that time. And um, I've only seen that YouTube video, I think, maybe once. And so it, it just... Yeah, it didn't get stuck mm. in my head, but yeah, Baby Shark definitely is a um, constant with with our family. Oh, yeah, there's one thing about kids, man. They get on something and they put that crap on repeat. Uh, let's see, <laughs> over uh, and Baby over, Shark. and over, yep. and Netflix, and Netflix, over, Cleo and Cookin. Um, let's see, well, Amazon Prime, we have. Uh, Tumble Leaf, which is like a British claymation cartoon, and it's really cute. Uh, what else? Um, there's a new thing. Oh, something on YouTube called uh, Cookie or Cookie or something like that. It's nothing but just baby songs, but she she loves the animation. Hmm. Baby Shark is up. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know anything about that. Um, honestly, really? I don't know anything about that. Um, yeah, all I know is I'm already buying like books to read her and stuff like that. So, the only thing that's not allowed in my house is SpongeBob. So, I hate SpongeBob. I hate SpongeBob. I never got to I feel that either. Yeah, so like my son knows he's not allowed to watch it. He went over to one of his, his aunt's house and she was trying to find something they could watch for a little bit. She's like, can you watch SpongeBob? You want to watch it? And he's like, no, daddy won't let me. So he knows he's not allowed to. Yeah. yeah and, uh, oh my God. <laughs> tonight my little girl was yeah. on her tablet and, uh, and she, I, I, I did, that didn't even think anything of it. And all of a sudden I hear the, are you ready kids? And I was like, hold on, what are you watching? <laughs> look, it's, a, it's a SpongeBob video that she somehow downloaded to the tablet. I'm like, absolutely not. You are not watching this. And I would turn it off and turn on something else, and she'd go get the SpongeBob. Four times she did this. And I was like, no. And I can't figure out how to delete the daggum thing off her tablet. I'm like, I'm, I'm going to wipe the tablet. <laughs> One way or another, this thing's getting off here. Oh, I my Lord. Bad problem with SpongeBob. I do too, man. I can't stand it. Well, my thing was just that it was they, it was first made for kids, and then because the kids didn't like it, I'm sorry, it was made for adults because adults didn't like it. They just dummied it down a little bit, rebranded it, and gave it to kids. And I'm like, I'm not okay with that because it was supposed to be like the next yeah. Beavis butthead. No wonder it was so dumb. And I'm like, no, it's horrible, man. 
My son loved that stupid show, and I couldn't stand it. I was like, what is this See, Dr. Seuss crap? works on necessity. Yes, Dr. Seuss. I love reading Dr. Seuss to my kids. I get in the whole voices and characters and and you know that when I read Cat in the Hat, the cat has a particular voice I do, and I read the Grinch, the Grinch has I am a particular voice. And I, am. I do not eat green eggs and ham. Oh, that one, each voice every character has a different voice. I have a lot of fun doing that with them. Uh, I remember when Barney was a big thing, Shudder. Yeah, I remember Barney too. My younger my younger yes. brothers were into Barney, so right. Hmm. Yeah. You know, back in my day, we just had Sesame Street and He Man. So, well, and Mister Rogers. Mister Rogers is a must. I love Mister Rogers. Speaking of Mister Rogers, is a must. Is anybody uh, checked out that? Is it out yet? That movie with Tom Hanks, Tom Hanks playing Mister Rogers. I'm, I'm not going to go see it. I'm probably yeah. not going to see it either. No. I mean, I'll watch it when it comes like on Netflix or something. I'm not going to rush out and go see it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'm not saying, you know, like, go watch it, watch it. Like, yeah. I was, you know, I am I interested like, to see, you know, what they do, but, you know, there's a lot of movies like that. I'm just like, yeah, I'll catch it later. I like the new Star Wars. <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, John Del Rose just put a tweet out that said, apparently, uh, I've. He said, apparently he heard the Rise of Skywalker is basically alt-right Star Wars, whatever that means. I don't know what that means. All I know is it might not be as good as people think. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see. I'm, I'm on bandwagon of, you know, eventually I'll see it too, just to finish out. Oh, yeah, I'm going to watch it. I'm just... I'm not probably going to see it in theaters, which will be a first because I've seen all the other ones in theaters. I've seen the prequels in theaters. The uh, the original trilogy I saw on te- I saw when it came aired on television, and hope oh, and oh, the Force Awakens and Last Jedi I did see in theaters. All I know is this: they better not kill Chewie on this one. And skip bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Y'all better not kill Chewie on this one. Well, they already killed Skywalker and Han Solo. They may get the like, Everyone's going to die besides Rey. So. Yeah, because she's the last hope of all Jedi. She's the last hope, and she ain't coming back for another one. So. <laughs> well, now, when the kids get older, if you can find Classic Electric Company that was pretty righteous, I watched it as an adult Classic because Spider Man was on it. Classic Electric Company. That sounds like something I should know, but I don't. It's yeah, I, I remember the theme song. I don't remember much about it, but it was it was a fun little show. I remember uh, liking uh, Three Two One Contact. Oh, well, speaking of uh, Spider Man, today I saw a Christmas tree, and it was all Marvel. <laughs> it was. Awesome. Yeah, Iron Man, Spider Man, and then like all these little Marvel things all throughout the tree. It was pretty it was pretty sweet. Hey, Marcus says exactly grrr, grrr. how you do the chew Chewbacca, Josh? You do Chewbacca. No, I can't do that with my kids asleep. <laughs> my wife Look. will walk in here and bat me in the back of the head and be like, shut up. Why are you making those Chewbacca sounds? Look, man. This is what I'm saying, man. Ray joins the dark side by killing Chewie. No, Shady. No. Nobody kills Chewie. They already killed Han. If Disney killed Chewie, they that's killed it. Luke too. I'm done. No, Luke kind of just disappeared. Nope. He did. Well, nobody in the movie killed uh, Luke, but the, the movie studio killed off Luke. No, Luke didn't want to be involved anymore. <laughs> He's like, Mark's like, yo, y'all are, y'all are messing it up. Like I'm done with y'all, you know. But but they killed Solo, they killed Han Solo, and then they killed him again when they made that Solo movie. Yeah. And they're like, no. But anyway, I digress. I digress. Some people actually like Solo. I like the last two minutes. No, oh, when the when your boy showed up. My my boy showed up, man. Oh my god. What was it? What's the name of that dude? Darth Maul. I was I was half asleep to the movie. 
And then all of a sudden that happened. And I was like, "Ooh, snap! Give me that movie." That was just that was just that was just some fan service, man. Hey, well, I need I need that movie. <laughs> you need that? I need that in my life, right. man. No, so I love fan it. service is good. Yeah, uh, you know the actor who played Chewbacca did die, and he was already replaced in the in the. Uh, he wasn't Chewbacca in one of the movies either. Um, Christopher Christopher Mayhew. I always say. His I name. think that's him. Um, I think that's how you say it. Real nice guy. I mean, if you ever got to meet that guy, it, he was just a total amazing person to talk to. Love talking to fans. Um, unfortunately, whenever I met him, um, his health was already starting to go down. Um, and not in right. the sense of the health, health, but um, because of how tall he was, um, he had to sit in like a wheelchair to greet people. Um, cause yeah. his bones hurt so, so much. He couldn't stand up to take pictures. That's so crazy. I have a picture of him on Instagram where I'm leaning in and he's actually sitting. Oh, it was P- yeah. Peter Mayhew, Peter Mayhew. Yeah. Um, real, like I said, real nice guy. Loved, loved talking to him and b- him and Billy D Williams. My God, Billy D was hysterical. Yeah. He's supposed to be in the new movie. Yep. Dude. He was an hour late. <laughs> For his for the con, <laughs> you know that cold forty five man. It works every time. Yeah, it sure does. <laughs> well, I went up to meet him. I was like, "How you doing, Mr. Williams?" He's like, "I'm hey. pretty good. How are you?" I was like, "I'm I'm doing good." <laughs> uh-huh. Cold forty five. I got a picture with him, and he, like I said, real nice guy to talk to as well. So, yeah, I think I think. He's gonna be on it, yeah. But we'll see, you know. We'll, we'll see, we'll see, you know. Yes. Right now, right now, the Mandalorian is in. I think uh, Marcus Givens and I are pitching the Chewy story to Disney. We're trying to see if we can get a Chewy series because I think Chewy deserves his own series. But hey, hey, you know, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what happens on that one. Yeah. Only if you bring in the Kashyyyk. Uh, uh, right of manhood. Yeah, he served more of a purpose in the Star Wars stories than Rose Tico did. Yeah, and that's not a knock against Kelly Marie Tran, but Rose is a pointless character. Hey, look, man, she she was there to keep old boy from being a deserter. What was his name? Poe Finn. Not Poe Finn. There you go. You know, well, and, to, and to give him a kiss at the end. As if Finn wouldn't be a deserter since he was never part of the rebellion. No, but he kind of de facto joined up. You know, and now he's like, Finn is just a quitter. He quit. He quit. <laughs> he quit being a stormtrooper. He quit, he quit the rebellion. Well, this guy, that's a bad example. <laughs> Like, hey, don't be Finn. Don't and w- be Finn. Well, to be fair, Finn got cheated out of having his out of his moment. He was a he was about to make the ultimate play, but uh, no, Rose Tico had to had to cock block him at the end there. Yeah, well, he's got issues, man. He doesn't know what he wants in his life. Very undecided young man. I still have some some uh, some kind of feelings. Now I heard an interesting uh, theory, but I don't know if, if y'all want to talk theories because it might be kind of spoilerish. Most, I haven't most seen the movie. Already, most of the movie th- uh, was already leaked to me, so I know, right? Uh, really? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, there has been a series of leaks. Yeah, so so y'all heard the one where um, where a certain protagonist is actually uh, the daughter of uh, Palpatine. I've heard. I guess that would explain the title of the movie. Yeah. So yeah, so I wonder if I, I wonder how they're gonna play that though. Not only that, they're trying to make her into an Avatar type character. 
So that'll be interesting. That'll be interesting. Hey, you know what? The reason why you're so good with the Force is because your dad is a Sith Lord. Yeah, I don't know. So was uh, you know because that's crazy. Yeah. yeah, your great 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 grandfather was a Sith Lord. Like, all I need, all I need to do is just watch the Clone Wars, and I'm good. Which, yeah, funny thing is that had an actual female protagonist in it. Yeah, I love the Clone Wars, so. It's not about female or male protagonists. It's just about well written characters. I mean, it's, it's no, not a I know, I know, it's not right. a well written character, you know? Well, I know that, but they, but since they like to play the argument of, we need more female representation in Star Wars, you had it and you chose to ignore it in favor they've had, of. They've had it the whole time. Whatever Ray is. <laughs> well, you they've had, had it with, the whole time. Princess, Princess Leia. Leia. And exactly, and Queen Amidala. Queen Amidala was badass. Yep, Princess Leia. Princess Leia was the original. Yes, she was. She was the OG. Nobody. She did. She didn't play no weak role. Nope. She's always been strong from the very beginning. So when people are saying that dumb crap, it's because they're not really fans of the series or the movies. They haven't watched. <laughs> they haven't they watched even. Anything. They even parody. They even parodied some of her. Mo some of her hugest moments in space balls. You know, so people saying that they don't know what they're talking about. They don't watch the yep. series. They haven't watched. As a matter of fact, uh, <laughs> I just find it funny. People are like, oh that it's like, obviously you don't know who Princess Leia is then. Yeah. She ain't been she she's never been a joke. She's always been. No, oh man. Ahsoka, Ahsoka was one of my favorite characters of all time. So I don't know. I don't know. You know, say you know, say people saying all that craziness. Yes, it's all craziness. That's it's all sure. that is. This is blasphemy. This is madness. Yep, it is what it is. But it is eight fifty-seven, so I'm gonna let everybody outro because. You know, I wrap up at nine o'clock. Yep. So, Mr. Shinobi Raccoon, go ahead and give yourself a shameless plug. Alrighty. You can find me on the Twitter, Instagram, and DeviantArt, all of them at Shinobi Raccoon. I also do my own drawing streams on DLive. I'll probably be doing that more regularly, but I will be uploading actual drawing videos onto my YouTube channel. So, if you haven't already, feel free to just subscribe over there. Nice. Mr. Josh Chris Art. Yeah, I'm Josh Chris. You can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube at Josh Chris Art. And as you see here, I'm working on my next poster. We got done with the Dragon Ball Z uh, just a couple days ago. So now it's time for the My Hero Academia. So this is what I'll be working on. And as I said before, I'm going to be hopping on more often to showcase and and that way you all can see the actual transformation of this and uh don't know if i'll be on tomorrow night but i will probably be on saturday night so but yeah you can find me on instagram most likely that's where i talk the most <laughs> good stuff man and of course i'm your tease and this is my channel um you can find me at colorblind underscore e on twitter or your arts on facebook and instagram and um if if I have time, I'll join with my two esteemed colleagues on their shows if possible. But I uh, just stay tuned. Keep uh, subscribe to everybody. That way, you know the digital bullpen is not just this channel. It's basically us, a group of artists, and uh, we just kind of enjoy each other's company, drawing and whatnot. Man, we also enjoy you guys in the chat, keeping us, you know, company and you know all that good stuff. We appreciate your views. Don't forget to hit a like before you leave out for the evening. Um, God bless and good night. This is Shinobi Raccoon signing off. Have a good day. Bye bye. <laughs>